Hi everyone, welcome to In The Loop, where we're going to keep you in the loop ahead of the game, which is of course what we've all been waiting for so far in 2021. It's the Six Nations, which begin on Saturday. And this week, in fact today, Bremont have released a really, really limited edition watch. Only 150 pieces made, so it's one of their smaller numbered watches. Each one will be numbered and it is to celebrate 150 years of the Rugby Football Union, which is a very exciting time for both involved. So the partnership between the RFU and Bremont began a couple of years ago, 2019, and then that of course saw the, the launch of the Bremont Rose, which came out last year, which I do have alongside me. The new limited edition will be in stores with retailers this month so we'll be able to show you that later on this month um, but there will be some photos some videos that we can that we can share with you as well the rose of course was a really really lovely lovely watch we love the alt 1c of course and they went to the trouble of the lovely swing low rotor in the back there which was the best touch for me and of course the rose and the subtitles, if you can see that. Special watch, really nice. But the one we're talking about today, of course, is the new limited edition. So, celebrating 150 years, 1871. This time around, the anniversary is commemorated with a new take on the Supermarine. So we all know it really well for being the diver's watch of choice for Bremont. Um, we're going off the S500, so we're going to be 43mm case back, which is the same as some of the solos like mine. Um, and we are going to stick with a bracelet, but we'll have slightly different links to this because they'll have the nice polished ones in between. We are going to be looking at GMT function, 24 hour GMT function, a date as usual at three o'clock on the dial. Um, and there will be just some slight touches to make it to make it just niche enough for the 150th an anniversary. If we go back 150 years, 1871, this is when the RFU was officially formed, um, and they basically made two committees. The first one was three old rugbyans who uh, wrote the laws of the game um, and the second committee was developed because naturally the Scottish members had challenged the English so the second committee then drew up a national team for England and that became what we know today. And then, of course, in sort of 1900s, we were getting loads of tours over from South Africa, from New Zealand. And in the early 1900s, William Williams found the Market Garden just outside of Twickenham. The first match that was played at Twickenham was 1909. It was, does anybody know? It was Harlequins and Richmond. And then the first national match there was the following January. That was England and Wales. Twickenham Stadium has obviously been the permanent home of English rugby since way back in the, in the 20th century. That is one of the little finer details that Bremont really jump on in terms of the design of this new 150th anniversary watch. You will notice on the new model, just on the dial base at the bottom, on the inner bezel for some of us, um, they will, there is noted Twickenham just on, on the bottom there. Um, of course, Bremont always used to pop London on the dial um, and so this is just a little bit different. There are some other really nice features that, that signify this new limited edition um, and of course celebrate English rugby. So on the case back, whereas with the Supermarine we've got the open case back here of course, we're going to be closed but there is the English rose that's, that is embossed onto the case back and that is obviously synonymous with English rugby since the 1870s. It was actually the first rose that went on the players caps and it's still there today so 
that is um, something that's been a real constant for them and so that, that's nice to keep that on the case back I think. It really is the finer details that Bremont do really well though and um, what they've chosen to do with the dial is actually to have it the tone of blue that some of us might have seen is the new alternative kit for England this year and then just contrasting that with the hands they're going to keep the hand white and just have a red tip and so contrasting the blue this actually signifies the first kit that England had which was white obviously but it had a red trim to it so that just ties everything in really nicely with the with the traditional and with the contemporary. Those of you with a keen eye are definitely going to notice the bezel markers that Bremont have included as well. So as we know, we've got 40 minute per half in a game of rugby and um, on the blue ceramic bezel, there's a red marker that starts at 35 and finishes at 40. And so of course that gives you your lead in time to when either the end of the first half or the second half is approaching. And then they've just left five little white markers afterwards to signify any extra time that there might be. It's little features like that that just make the attention to detail really impressive. One of the most interesting things about this watch is that it comes alongside a 150th anniversary collector's edition book of the RFU and this is going to be signed by Tom Curry who of course is a Bremont ambassador and also Martin Johnson and Katie Daly McLean and as ever of course we do have an automatic chronometer as we've come to expect now with Bremont um, 43 mil cases we've discussed and a stainless steel bracelet with the polished and the matte links together. There is a 42 hour power reserve with this movement. Um, you've got your date and your GMT as well. And um, the unidirectional ceramic bezel, which, which we're also used to. So we only want it to turn one way. And we go all the way around, it can't turn the other way. And it is fitted with Bremont's patented anti-shock movement mount as well. And just finally, we're water resistant to 50 metres. English rugby stands for everything that Bremont promotes with their maxim being tested beyond endurance. And that really is the case for English rugby. So watch out for Bremont's adverts because they are going to be plastered over ITV during the games. And if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these, only 150 pieces worldwide and must stress, then you can inquire with Banks Lion on Facebook, on Instagram, on our website and on the phone. We are here in the shop, we can't see you, but we're here to pick up the phone always. Join us again next time when we keep you in the loop with the watch world.